In previous episodes of Underrated Guitar Players, I talked about names you might have heard of. People like Joe Walsh or Peter Frampton are no unfamiliar names. The name Altly Free will not ring a bell for as many people. One of the main reasons for that is probably because he's not really known for playing with a particular artist or band. He has been a sideman for a long time now, from playing with Joe Perry to Peter Frampton. In recent years he has been active as a session player and songwriter in Nashville, as well as playing with Sheryl Crow. But he came to the scene in the 90s and I think he should have been way bigger because he is an amazing guitar player. That was his initial band in the 90s called Cry of Love, which has gained a cult following but they never really hit it big like similar bands at that time. And that might have to do with the fact that their original singer left the band after the first album. They only recorded one more album after that with a different singer but they never got their big break. Despite that they are worth checking out even if it's just for his guitar playing. After Cry of Love disbanded, he went to play with a similar band, albeit more successful, but they already lost two of the lead guitar players at that point. In the late 90s he became a member of the Black Crows, and even though they didn't fully bring him on board to record the 2001 album Lions, he can be heard playing on the Life at the Greek album which they recorded with Jimmy Page. That stint with the Black Crows became the blueprint for the remainder of his career, playing as a sideman either in the studio or live. And even though this of course could have been a choice, I think he deserved much more than that. It would have been great if Cry of Love would have become as big as the Black Crows, making him the guitar hero that people would talk about a lot more. Instead of that he has been modestly in the background of a lot of great music. <laughs> Just looking at and listening to this demo he did for Jermino a few years ago, you can hear how versatile of a player he is. And since I love to hear his playing, I've been trying to track down a lot more of it, which is difficult because he's not a player in a particular band. But you can find him all around, whether it's with Government Mule or the Dixie Chicks, he's been showing up all sorts of places. And for good reason, because he's a great guitar player. If you have never heard of him, go check him out. 
Let me know your thoughts or stories on Alt Freed in the comments down below. And while you're down there, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you next time.